let's just uh, let's just run this again because you remember we had a zero column in 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 when we produced df so maybe that might be the reason let's just do this again oh yeah there we go mm -hmm. now we get all these beautiful extra plots <laughs> so so let's just have a look at the, some of them um so so this is interesting this is uh, tells you end of year returns versus benchmark and you know yellow is the benchmark blue is the returns so you know we we can test you know what what our returns uh, versus the benchmark returns you know it's pretty straightforward stuff this is the distribution of monthly returns it basically tells you a little bit about how our returns mm -hmm. in 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 our system are distributed and and you know they 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 then uh draw a bit of a distribution file so you can see we've got some outliers mm -hmm. in the very mm -hmm. negative range but we've also got some pretty big positive outliers so sometimes that can give us some good ideas of of you know uh of, often we don't want those big negative outliers um they they cause sometimes uh, a lot of trouble and then we could say oh well maybe we can do something in the strategy that reduces those outliers and then and then you know we've got daily returns here it's just 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 basically the non uh, if you don't use the cumulative sum you just get the returns um this is a rolling beta to benchmark um so this basically tells you how much beta we have. And you can see that 0 0.3, but there's quite a few periods where our beta is actually quite a bit higher. It's basically when we're long, right? Mm -hmm. When we're long, our beta is pretty high. When we're short, our beta is is more like on the negative side. Okay. So, so that's what we expect. Um, then here, you know, uh, this is the volatility of our strategy. Um, so it's like the, the standard deviation of our strategy returns. This is interesting. That's the rolling sharp ratio. So you know, you remember our sharp ratio was about 0.63, but it's not 0.63 most of the time. It just keeps going up and down. And here we can see, oh, you know, in recent times it was quite high, and then it just significantly dropped even more recently. So it is interesting things. So Sortino ratio uh, is another metric, uh, which we will talk about a bit later. Um, this is giving you the, the mm -hmm. worst drawdown periods, you know, so it tells you all oh, the five worst periods, where are they? You know, one is unfortunately most recently, we're in a big drawdown. This is underwater plot. Uh, we've already, you remember, we've already produced it ourselves. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So this quantstats does it for you, but I really believe it's good if you know how to produce some of these things yourself. Yeah, and you remember that that small peak that we had going down to minus twenty. That that was that. So you know what we did is pretty much agrees with quantstats. Here is a nice uh, mm. big uh, chart, or, you know, where where our our positive and negative returns, and you can see here. Whoa, we've got one month with minus 11. So that's that's our worst month. Have, having said that though, um, you know our drawdown went down to minus 20, but uh, the worst month nevertheless is still minus 11 only, you know? Mm -hmm. So that's that's actually quite all right. Um, so, so, you know, we had this big drawdown, but then, you know, if you are say a fund manager and you have to report your performance by the end of the month, then the drawdown went back from minus 20 to minus 11. And like, <laughs> you know, you're not going to get, like if you just report monthly, then you're not going to get those terrible phone calls straight away. <laughs> and then finally, so so this is what's called a, a, a box plot. And effectively, um, when when um, when you look at, at uh, it's, it's quite a handy, uh, it's quite a handy thing to have. Mm -hmm. When you look at each of these things here, they're basically another um, another way to to show a distribution. Um, so so when you, for example, you you remember we had our returns distribution here mm -hmm. for our monthly returns. 
And you know, it had these, these outliers here on the side. So basically the box plot gives you that distribution. So when you look at the monthly returns, we see on average, they're close to zero. Then these dots are the outliers. And I believe that um, actually I'm not, I'm not hundred percent sure with the box plot, but I believe this, um, this brown is one standard no, no, uh, this, these, uh, these things here are one standard deviation away from the mean. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, so this is, this is basically, uh, you know, our returns one standard deviation away from the mean. So what that basically uh, does is it gives you another way to visualize a distribution. Mm -hmm. And you can see that, you know, when you look at annual, you have no outliers at all because, you know, when you look at the annual, it's a lot smoother than than the monthly distribution. But then when you look at the daily, you know, there's a lot of outliers and it's basically centered around zero because you got these little wiggles. It's always like around zero. Whereas if you look at the annual um, distribution of annual returns, it's a lot more stable. Yeah. So, um, you know, so, so so you can you basically can represent your your returns distribution in a different way, and you can see this you know for daily, weekly, quarterly, you know annually, monthly, which is extremely handy. So all of what we've seen here is basically giving you a fingerprint of your strategy, and before we even start to move further on. It's it's really important for me to point out how 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 important this is to understand the fingerprints of your strategies because a lot of what people do is they make the mistake they look at the strategy and they see a straight line going up or whatever and they go oh yeah that looks good but they can't really they don't understand uh, uh, why it's even good or why it may not even be good and what this does is uh, learning to read the fingerprints of your strategy gives you a much, much better intuition about what is a good strategy and what is not a good strategy. Okay. So this is super, super important to learn. And you have seen, we've already built a few of these things ourselves. There is one thing we've done with our metrics that this quant stats cannot do. Can you think of what that was? I tell you, it's this one here. Oh, okay. It's the profits mm -hmm. per trade because Quantstats mm -hmm. has unrealized returns. So it doesn't know about the trades. It doesn't know when the trades were done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's actually not able to do the profits per trade. Um, so just uh, it's just, just an interesting fact. So often, you know, these packages are great, but, you know, sometimes uh, you have to do some other things yourself as well in order to uh, be good with it.